Monster Hunter 1. Where it all began, and where it now must end. We have relived the pain, the struggle, the anguish, the unnecessarily the complexly difficult existence of just I'm being in this walking. game. But we've also I'm experienced the, the, the love, the magic, the origin of something special. And now, we, for the final time, take to the field for the final hunt, the final quest, the hardest challenge, and the end. Mm. Oh, a Rathalos. This is so good. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That's great. Why can't you do that? I know. Mean, why can't you do that? This is so wonderful! It's so so just such a aggressive water drinking! <laughs> <laughs> the way it just like fell over in a tea pose. I know! <laughs> it's just so That's well done! Around. Oh! Good lord! That's a lot of bomb. It is a lot of bomb. Oh, they're running it in like it's a big old strategy. Like they're, I love that they have like actual like in-game player movements too. I know. What is happening? Also, five bombs. Who set that up? I also love that he's hiding behind a bush. Like that makes a difference yeah. to the AI. <laughs> oh my god! It's oh. the killing blow. I've realized. This is where the live-action Monster Hunter movie was inspired by. <laughs> it was all this. It was all this cutscene. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> that oh, was the great sword so just me back. <laughs> <laughs> just swords. These swords. Oh my God! Oh, that's bloody. It just coughed up a lung. Yeah, that's that's pretty gruesome. I love it so much! Why is it just oh, great swords and bow guns? Great swords and bow guns! Those are the only two weapons show the extreme! Great swords and bow guns! Those are the only ones in this one. <sighs> oh, that's not a great sword. Oh, 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 hi! Uh, hi there, everyone! Didn't see you! Uh, we were... We were just uh, oh. watching... Uh, a3 2003 demo movie together, so... Which I, I assume is one of the earliest full glances of Monster Hunter that the world got. Yeah, so glad you could join us. Uh, bit rude to just sneak up on us like that, but well, welcome. Hello. Well, uh, we're enjoying you? E3 2003 demo movie. E3 2003 demo movie, so... That's, uh, that's what we like. That's but welcome. Welcome. To the gallery. Also, I love that the elves are going... <laughs> And the best part of that is obviously that that's not part of the shape of the letter L. So they just do it for fun. So necessary. They just added. <laughs> just let's just do it for fun. <laughs> I do so love great. to imagine like what what if there was a large monster based off of every one of those letters? Like <laughs> the G. Like that's sort of a snake. I can see it. What the fuck would the A be? <laughs> what is? <laughs> like, it's like the head in the middle of a snake. Creature. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this, the final episode of Monster Hunter 1! Monster Hunter Uno. But don't cry, because it's over. Smile, cry because, because it, it happened. happened. Oh, cry, <laughs> to be fair, cry, because it happened. We Just have cry, battled cry for other and reasons. waited and struggled our way through monster after monster after monster after monster. And then a couple more. And then a couple more. But we have now reached this point where all that is left is three Elder Dragons. There's Lao Sheng Lung, who we're not Done. gonna we're not gonna go near with a with a ten foot badge pull. So sorry, okay. sorry Lao Sheng Lung. Just like if you could leave now, please. Just 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 go. Look, just, if you just don't go, like the just go throw Rathalos. yourself in a volcano. I okay. Man, just... I can't believe they already had a, a, another variation of Rathalos in this. I game. know they already started with uh, a Rathalos variant. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, unbelievable. But, we will be looking at two today, along with attempting to complete. And I'm gonna need some serious, sinister music and slow zooming on my face, please. Dun, dun, dun. No, not from you. Not 
you just you just enjoy it. I'll do okay? the zooming though. Whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Oh, okay. Sorry. The hardest quest in Monster Hunter One. Dan. Sorry, I can't help myself. But before that, we're going to have a look at the two fights that could have been. Basically, you can't go to the gathering hub unless you're online. And you can't go online yeah. because there's no servers. You can right. if you have a Japanese version of the game, but obviously we don't okay. have a Japanese version of the game. Right. But even and then, to get to the part. fights that we need to get to, you have to yeah. grind to uh, HR 20 or so, I believe, which takes a while in Monster Hunter 1. You also have to okay. complete every single online quest, which is like 50 I, I, of them. Probably at least so. as many, yeah. And you also randomly have to have killed 50 Rathalos to unlock everything. That's not random. He's the flagship of the series. Makes sorry, yeah, sense. sorry. Just, just chain murder our flagship and we'll give you some yeah, new please, monsters. Yeah, please kill the monster that we like the most a lot. So to say there are some barriers to the, the remaining few monsters is, uh, <sighs> is is an understatement. But we're not going to leave you dangling. No, we're not. Because we've caught a horse by the Dangle toe and we're you. going to show it to you. Here. Look at it. Look, look at it. We're holding it by the toe. Is look, that, we're holding, we're holding it by the toe, right? Like, just... It's really so unusual. So why does this, right this horse even have, have a toe? <laughs> so let's have a look then at Monster Hunter 1. Kirin, go! Now, Kirin and Monster Hunter 1 is what's known as an absolute right bastard. Okay, I mean, I, I would say it's more accurate to call him an absolute white bastard because he's very <laughs> really. Like, Firstly, I've never does, seen a whiter monster. He does look really like bright. Like, yeah, he, he like, really he, stands he's more, out. He's more, like, aggressively light, light bright, bright lightning creature in this like, game than I think in any other realization. You know, you know in, in more modern Monster Hunter, when, when yeah. like, when, uh, like, Luna's going and, and you fire, like, ranged projectiles and it just does zero damage and bounces off yes. and stuff? Yeah. Well, if I recall correctly, Monster Hunter and Kirin had that, but for melee attacks, like he'd go into a charge state, That's... and just hitting him would shock you and knock you away, and you basically couldn't damage him for large Isn't portions that, of the that's fight. That's just how Kirin works. That's that's still how Kirin works. Kirin gets really, really, really bouncy and uh, yeah, but zero not bouncy. Like you electrocute yourself. Yeah, zero. zero. By okay, yeah, that's, that is an extra step forward. Yeah, that is that is pretty good. That's like what I'm that. saying, and that, that's very that's impressive. For the Monster head. Hunter Woody. By the way, for like half the quest, he's not actually going to be attackable. So uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that is extremely Monster Hunter 1. So you enjoy that. But he's also very bouncy. <laughs> this does look very nice. Also, I, I love that. the volume of Lance because it's the broken weapon that lets you actually do yeah, things it's in Monster Hunter 1. It's a good weapon, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it lets you, know, you guard and attack. Never let it be say that Lance is not a good weapon because it had its time to shine. It just happened to be at the very first game where it was the best weapon. Hey, it's always good. It's just sometimes not great. <laughs> I love even in this Elder Dragon fight. <laughs> the the just, mob of small the monsters. the mob of prey lunging onto everything. And especially so because funny. it's because it's Kirin, they're like the same size as the Kirin. Yeah. So they're like they're flying in, and it's like I'm the same size as him. What are you gonna do? <laughs> so there you go. That's 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 Kirin. That's one of our that is Kirin. one of our fights that could have been one of our fights Kirin. that was missed. But. Now, now is time for pain. Why? Because I, I am going to go do the hardest quest ever devised in Monster Hunter. Take item out of item box. Yes, it's very difficult, but I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Well, right now you're just putting things. In, I know. I know so it's I so difficult. It. Like <laughs> it's so hard. I'm, I always I always get confused between putting item in and taking item out. All right, flaming wrinkled dwarf, let's dance. <laughs> Why'd you light him on fire before? Ah, <laughs> you know, that? you just gotta pour gasoline over and tsh, pff, flaming dwarf. I realize you've said this is the last episode, but that's a bit rude. I still would like to live. <laughs> All right, the shadow in the cave, Kezu. Shadow in the cave. The runaway Diablos. Diablos. The runaway Diablos. Terror of the Gravios. Gravios. Are you ready for the hardest quest? Yeah. It is a gathering quest. I don't believe you. What is it? What's it doesn't even have a condition. What's it? What, what can there, you There's no do special conditions. Do? None. There is nothing None. special about this quest. There's nothing going on. Like, that seems so suspicious. Like, no, it's just <laughs> nothing happening. Like, suspicious. like, it doesn't even show you the objective. It's just like, you just go on this quest, man. It's no big deal. 
Alright, I will now begin my sad, solemn, and slow pilgrimage up the mountain Solomon, of fire. Solomon, who's Solomon, and why did he have a slow pilgrimage? Well, he broke his leg. Well, I mean, I guess that's a pretty good reason to have a slow pilgrimage, but In he could just, like, wait places. for it to heal, and then wait for it to heal, I guess, a long time in that case, and, and then just go on the pilgrimage after the fact. The point is, Damn I have Solomon. to ascend the fire mountain. Then so why do you just go into a cave? Because that's that's the step one, okay? You gotta go in to go out. As I said, there will be shaking about later oh, on. Oh, right, okay. I told you uh, that's okay. what it's all about. Oh god, about. the screen's shaking! <laughs> hey, Gravios hmm. Hole. That's an interesting yeah, it's place a Gravio, This is a Gravios spawning ground. Little Biserios yeah, babies are gonna push through the cracks and... <laughs> That's, that's what, that's what like. a baby Viserio sounds like. Yeah, they're they're like a Wario. <laughs> also, why is there a Gravios over there? Oh, you know, he's just he's just he lives here, man. That's a bit rude. Just, you can't, I mean, you can't break into someone's house and then go. Why are you here? I mean, our, he's, it's not like we came to his house to to find him. Like we thought, I thought it would be a time where he'd be out. Like why <laughs> would we plan? Oh, he, so right, oh, he's out. Oh, okay, apparently. okay. I guess I guess it was. Yeah, he's like, just whatever you say. <laughs> whatever you say, I'll just not exist now. All right. Damn, that's hot. Welcome to the top, the tippity tip here. top. We've been here. We have been here, where we must handle with care. I really can't remember exactly where. I'm going to guess here? I'm going to guess here. It's probably here, that, right? That looks like a rock. Ah, yes. Powder stone! So the quest, my friend, is to deliver one single powder stone. It's pretty far. Because goddamn Royal Armoran needs large amounts of explosives to make Pogan ammo that I don't even use. That seems reasonable, actually, yeah. I mean, it's not for you. It's for the Royal Armor. Also, my Gravios booties are so funny. <laughs> yeah, they're big. I love, I love big boots. <laughs> like big they're boots. such big shoes. I love big boots, and I cannot lie. You can't lie? I cannot lie. What's your greatest desire? To deny my other brothers, which I cannot do. <laughs> What's your, what's your what's your greatest fear? When a girl walks in with those itty bitty <laughs> shoes, they're just not Tell me, big boots. What will happen then? I get sunk in the mood. <laughs> ah! No powder stone. <laughs> All right, we made it. We made it half a zone. We made it half a zone. We made it half a zone, guys. All right, just gotta do that like times eight. Yep, we'll get there. Look, the point is. This time, I've got a good feeling. Right. This and as we'll, long uh, as we take a turn here, look, we we'll be okay. To, we'll just, just okay. watch out. Just don't get hit by the eye. Uh, okay. All right. Just got to... Oh, okay. Okay. Just I time operate. your stamina. I operate. Be careful. Be cool. Be... You don't need... You don't... You don't... Ah! Whoa! You don't need this. You don't need this rock. All right. It will literally That's blow up in is, your face. Why do they want this? It doesn't... It doesn't do anything for them. They're do just they little psychopaths. Do they like work for Teostra, who's like in the distance, like protect my gunpowder ball? <laughs> my little gunpowder ball, I really like it. It's full of, it's full of flavor. That's gotta be like, that's it's like been a rolling and growing it for many, many. Days. Ah! Like a, oh, a big piece of hard candy. Ah! I hate this quest. I hate this quest yeah. so much. I hate that's it reasonable. so much. I mean, you've got to deliver things past small monsters. It's rough. Through the entire most treacherous. Ma I just. Okay. Gotta hope you don't find the Gravios either, because that'd be pretty rough. No, it's okay. He's slow. Like, if there was a Gravios in every zone and no small monsters, this would be easy. Well, I mean, even the zone that has a Gravios in it, I think, also has small monsters. I do like that I keep just, like, flicking them into the lava. Yeah, I mean, like, it's they're not one... perfectly immune, apparently. Oh, no, no, okay. They, they don't care about lava. Ooh. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, okay. Oh, come oh, on! Cool There's a timer now. Oh! Cheesy, oh, we really made it! We made it past the first zone! Okay, oh, in theory that- wait. Oh god, I was gonna say that might <laughs> be the oh hardest. Oh my god! <laughs> I think they're too split up. The fact that they're this split up now makes it really dangerous. <laughs> no! Come on! There was a fourth one. Oh, there was a fifth one! Okay, so, uh, six. I think six. Handle it! Yeah! We... <laughs> you think we try six? Do you think we go I for think six? six? <laughs> I think it Come might on, be God, better. I just got imploded by that one into the zone. 
I think six might have a chance of being better than like five Boltrom <laughs> that sure aggro the that's... second you walk in. So many extra. I all pray like to hang out in front of this one. They do, but Boltrom like that was not only was that all the Boltrom, but they all aggroed you instantly. There are a few things I wouldn't do right now for some dash juice. Uh, gather the materials. That would mean hunting monsters. And we yeah, don't so do that there, here. There you go. Yeah, we I was going to say, you said that there are a few things that I wouldn't do for dash juice, and I guess one of the few things is, a, <laughs> is acquire the materials yes, of to of course, one of the few it's... things is go out my way to farm it. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> <laughs> don't you, don't you highlight my words! I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, we're low on stab. He's there. just, he's fucking, he's staring it, at the yeah, He's literally staring at the corridor. I'm waiting for you. Oh, how tasty. <laughs> it's alright for you, you're not having to do this. I mean, you, you say that like I'm not experiencing this as well. You're not! Not in the same way, man! I'm a part of the- you think I don't want this to be successful? Watching a video of someone being touched, it's not as bad as the person in the chair! I'm a part of this. You also, you say that while controlling the actual, like, character who's enduring the torture. Ah! Oh. Like, why are you even doing this? You don't need to fight them. It doesn't give you advantages. It's mostly cathartic, honest. No! It doesn't seem cathartic! Based on your responses so far to this happening, it seems like it's actually aggravating you further. <laughs> you get yourself lost! Uh, uh, where am I? Maybe he can stop walking. No, no go back to walking, go back to walking, go back to- Yeah, you, you were not specific enough there. No, I really put my foot in my mouth. What a stupid expression! <laughs> I really- like, I just- Hold up, let me just bend over right? and, and put my, my head really far down and let me lift my ankle and just- I'll just- I'll just- I'll just- I'll just- I'll just- <laughs> Either that, or you're incredibly flexible and acrobatic, and you can bring your foot to your mouth while in a normal standing position, which I think is way creepier. I can't express to you how much I hate this quest. Uh, I think you're just looking at it the wrong way. This oh, is sorry, the end How game. should I be looking at it? It's the end game. It's the end game. It should take multiple attempts, just like every late game Monster Hunter quest. So I've got to get out of this zone while being attacked by this Gravios. That's true. Seems pretty easy right now if this keeps up. Uh. Oh! Oh, that works. But just make sure he doesn't do that again. Oh yeah, that's a good point. This seems like such a bullshit little area to have to be with him in. Oh no. Oh, oh no! no! Oh no! I have had enough. There has to be a more efficient way of delivering powder stone, guild! It's got- um, yeah. Have you guys considered, like, just putting the Farcaster in the powder stone? Oh my god, he's left! He's left! Oh, We're actually gonna get to, get to progress past this zone! <laughs> Quickly before the eye appraise starts decide to start respawning now that he's gone. Oh, the sweet, he's sweet relief. The sweet, sweet relief. Now we get to see if six is actually like helpful or if it's just as bad or worse. What do you think? What do you really think? I think it's going to be narrow corridors with Bullfango. It's going to be narrow corridors of Bullfango. It just it looks too it looks too ominous. Oh. Oh. I mean, Absoros isn't bad, but Gravios is here, so. You know, win, win some, you lose some. <laughs> I think that's the sound he made that made you drop it, too. Oh my god. Oh no. There's. I mean, I think it's better than the six bull fingers. Please, Gravios. Please. Please. Oh my god. Please. All he has to do is Please, walk in. Oh my god. All he has to do is lightly tap you with his toes. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That was the slowest, most 
ominous fuck you I've ever seen a monster deliver someone. I don't know why. Just the, the, the concept of, like, that really hard shell makes me feel like the meat on the inside would have to be very tender, because it would be very unexposed to, like, harsh elements in the same way that, uh, that normal animals' meats would be, because the skin is quite thin. Well, I've killed him. Okay. That feels much, much, much better. Powder fucking world stone is a this. Place. Gravios. Stop kissing it. You can't just kiss things that you kill. It's sort of weird. Please stop. <laughs> I don't appreciate this. Look, it's the least I can do after I murdered his gravy ass. You, where are you going? Why are you not just, like, healing? Because I'm gonna go murder these guys. See, look! That's why it's gonna okay, turn into I operate. Off. This game is so cruel! It just wants to hurt. You should probably heal, though, still. Maybe have that cool drink. Oh! You're gonna die to these I oh! the <laughs> Please do something to help yourself. Please do something to help yourself. Do I have yourself. any normal potions or herbs? No, I don't. <laughs> like, why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> now I died. See, look, all our stamina's back. Isn't that crazy? That's true, but you also have meat in your pocket. I look the rations. I'm saving for when we're gonna we're, we're going for it. All right, we don't want to waste stamina yet. What do you mean we could be going for it now? No, no, we gotta kill everything in ow. We gotta kill everything in seven at minimum. That takes no time at all. You could do that on max stamina and still have the egg. I am my opera slayer Maximus nine thousand. That's uh, okay. I mean, that's already one of my middle names is in there. But go ahead, go ahead and take that. You're. <laughs> I had this moment of what? Your actual what you middle name is Maximus? Yeah, my, my, yeah, for sure. My 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 my. I mean, that is my middle name. How dare you? That is who I am. <laughs> like your actual middle. Like your parents were like, "This is a Maximus. We want to we want to put a Maximus in there." I'm gonna stick a Maximus in. I'll name a kid Maximus. Don't you can just watch me. <laughs> Please, first name I will do Max anything for you to name an eventual child Maximus. I mean, it's easy, because then you can just call them Max if they don't like it. Eh, who cares? <laughs> Ten minutes <laughs> left. Having prepared the map. The Gravios is dead. Seven is cleared. Six is cleared. One is cleared. Four is unclearable. We just have a small issue of six I operate to get past in a single zone. And then all is well with the world. Just spent 40 minutes making sure the map was ready for a single delivery quest. Ah! Uh, One more good run! Oh my god! One more good run! Come on, get through the- get through the hole! Oh, get through the hole! Where's the transition? Oh, the little tiny- where the fuck is the zone transition? Ah! 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 <laughs> Who the fuck decided it should be so- Deep in the <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was so mean! Please don't touch my weapon attack stick! Please Just don't don't stick it up. Oh my heart! It's perfect. All it takes is 40 minutes of preparation and a, a minute of not not getting smacked by a raptor. Okay. Alright. We got here. This is what it means to be a hunter. The time runs out right now. Oh Five minutes <laughs> left. The hardest quest in Monster Hunter 1. Completed. <laughs> Powder stone done. Sleeping on a bed. I hate it. It actually so much. It didn't seem all that hard once we once we worked out the, the actual way to yeah, do it. Yeah, but it takes forty five minutes of prep, it does. and you have but to kill a gravios. Yeah, you literally get a commendation for bravery for of delivering bravery this bravery. powder stone. Yeah, and with that achieved, we will now move on to the final monster of Monster Hunter One. Uh, the big bad black dragon himself. Uh, good old Fatalis. The original old, yeah. incarnation of uh, Fatalis. Fatalis. 
Oh. Who originally was called Fatalis. Fatalis. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! The sky was red. Was red and very, very angry. Whoa, zoom! In original shade, as Vitalis comes hovering Whoa. over the back. Whoa, he's already injured. <laughs> yeah, so with Vitalis in Monster Hunter 1, there's not one Fatalis right. quest, there's not two Fatalis quests, there's not three Fatalis quests, there's not four Fatalis oh, quests, gosh. there's not five Fatalis quests, there's six Fatalis hunts. And you have right. to complete them in order. The first five are repels, and then the sixth you get to slay, which is why he's starting beat up. Yeah, I love that as a concept. I mean, that basically is brought back in, like, uh, New World Call of Taroth is essentially that. Yeah, I suppose. In, in, in a way. not far off. But I love that the start of this is him just slowly flying over the battlement and landing and like, yeah. okay, I'm to ready. his hefty music, just, yeah. like, playing at just full blast. slowly well. flying to, oh, say it up! It's like, this is my theme song. I paid for it. I'll play for it, bitches. Look at my tongue. And my chest X. Oh. <laughs> and my fire. <laughs> See, the thing is, in Monster Hunter 1, the, the Fatalis fight was actually really, really yeah, bad. Yeah, I mean, it's... I guess it's it's all, like, comparative, right? Like, there, there are some monsters in this game that are genuinely very, very creative in how they attack. And Fatalis is... He definitely has inklings of it, but I would say he's probably not the most creative attacker, and that's a sort of sad thing to say about, like, the big creature of the game. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, I, I mean, you get to this point and you're fighting a full-on proper dragon dragon in a full-on, like, arena castle thing, so I guess... Why are these cool. guys having, like, an RP conversation? I feel like this arena really, or like, really demonstrates how uh, how big the difference is in the modern areas. Of yeah, Monster like compare Internet. this this Fatalis and Shrade fight to Icebond Fatalis and Shrade fight. That that tells yeah. you how far Monster Hunter has come. Like, I mean, the fight and like the, just the areas. It's like this is such a flat place. Like yeah. even like Generations Fatalis obviously has some levels because they introduced all the the mountain attacks. I like that we had to have mounting attacks before we could um, before we could like add ledges. Like the concept of ledges was too much to conceptualize without without the ability to mount. Right. I do love the sky though. It really gives it gravitas. By the way, that's, oh, that's yeah, like his ultimate sky. thing. Oh. He flies up, does a single fireball, and then lands. Oh. Take him down. <laughs> that was, it was just, it was the fact that he was already basically on the ground, he's just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> what, what, oh, shit, oh. Oh, my God. Uh, oh. Me when I'm trying to get out of the bathtub and I accidentally put my hand on a slippery place. <laughs> All right, guys. Whoa. <laughs> that is Garrett and Fatalis, what would have been the final two challenges. And Powderstone. And Powderstone, who is harder than all of them combined. So that was Monster Hunter 1. A look back at where it all began, the very first incarnation of everything. And, and it was uh, while fun. there have been tears, and a lot of tears, and more tears. Lots of tears. It was really quite a cool experience to get to see it once more. It was lovely. And I'm it glad really, we got to meet really, all these people really in this was. lovely place. So the final quest Wonderful. you unlock is a troublesome pair, Rathalos and Rathian. Rathalos and Rathian, yeah. Yes. They're, uh, yeah. they're there. That's cool and all. So that's, that's, I like that they're that's there. Nice. They are there, indeed. So that's that's nice. <laughs> too bad for the village. Yeah, too bad for the village. You know, you guys, you guys have, you guys, uh, good luck with that. Good I have, luck, nerd. I have bled enough, everyone. My, our work here is done. Get someone our new. Work here is done. So this brings an end to Monster Hunter One, but it does not bring an end to the old Monster Hunters, because next it's time for us to unite. Down, 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 down. Oh! That's the that's the jingle that I that for, is. For uh, I, no, I appreciate it. That really that really kind of worked out. That, that was good, that was yeah. pretty good. So we will see that's you soon when that is time to begin but until then thank until you very then. much for being thank here and supporting me on this mental you breakdown you. like you've enjoyed this everyone subscribe for more and we will see you soon please consider supporting the future of the channel and patreon down below and until we meet again oh god goodbye Bye.
Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.